Lightning struck Los Angeles as Meghan Markle's reaction to Princess Eugenie's podcast sent shockwaves through Hollywood a royal twist no one saw coming. The Louisiana skyline practically buzzed with the thunderous news. Known for her calm demeanor, Meghan was reportedly livid, all due to Princess Eugenie's surprising podcast episode. Full of jaw-dropping revelations, the podcast hinted at Harry and Meghan's actions, even calling their family life into question. It was like something out of a royal soap opera. Could this be the end for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex? This is a tale of two worlds, the Crown versus California. Since Harry and Meghan's move to the Golden State, the world has watched them navigate life in Malibu and deliver candid interviews. But Princess Eugenie's bold podcast move was something no one expected. Is she just sharing her own story or subtly challenging the Duke and Duchess of Sussex? Let's dive into this bombshell chapter in the royal saga. Speculation swirled as fans wondered if Eugenie's podcast might set the record straight. Could Meghan's California dream be unraveling piece by piece? Eugenie's podcast, Royal Confessions, sparked curiosity. Was it a personal reflection or an unexpected expose? Typically more reserved than her cousins, Princess Eugenie has been making waves. Royal insiders speculated that she might be casting doubt on Harry and Meghan's lifestyle choices. Is Eugenie challenging the Sussex brand or simply finding her own voice? The debut episode explored themes of royal duty and authenticity. Was Eugenie subtly saying enough is enough? This raised the Sussex hypocrisy question, can a life of luxury still be relatable? While Harry and Meghan present themselves as champions for humanitarian causes, their lifestyle complete with private jets and upscale estates has raised eyebrows. Could Eugenie's podcast be hinting at these contradictions? Rumors suggest she's spoken with friends who see the Sussexes as all talk, no walk. How can someone advocate for environmental responsibility while flying around in private jets? This criticism isn't new for Harry and Meghan, but coming from Eugenie, it struck a nerve. Then there's the internet's wildest theory, do Harry and Meghan even have kids? Though completely unfounded, this strange rumor sparked online debates, fueled by what some saw as hints in Eugenie's podcast about inconsistencies in the Sussex family narrative. While no evidence supports this, it does reveal the level of public distrust in their image. As for Megan's reaction, insiders say she was furious seeing Eugenie's podcast as a betrayal. Megan reportedly felt that Eugenie's comments were hurtful and even accused her of jealousy and attention seeking. Is Megan's response just a moment of frustration or is it a sign that family ties are fraying? The public is divided. Are Harry and Megan victims of constant scrutiny or are they hypocrites? Supporters feel the couple is just trying to live freely, while critics see these issues as evidence of double standards. The feud is public and opinions are fierce. Others see them as hypocrites, using their royal titles to chase fame. This feud raises big questions. Can someone truly leave the royal system without hurting those they leave behind? And is it possible to stay true to yourself under constant public scrutiny? As this podcast stirs the pot, Harry and Meghan face a tough challenge. With more people questioning the Sussex brand, their media empire's credibility might be on the line. Will they use this moment to adapt and evolve, or could they step back from the spotlight? Where do you stand? This royal drama offers a look into the complex world of the Windsor family. It's more than just gossip. It's about the search for authenticity, the price of fame, and the clash between tradition and modern values. Do you believe Harry and Meghan are right in pursuing freedom and fame, or have they gone too far? Are they breaking barriers or just using royal titles for personal gain? The truth probably lies somewhere in the middle, but there's no denying that Harry and Meghan's story keeps us intrigued, even as opinions remain split. This saga brings up deeper questions about fame, authenticity, and the monarchy's role today. If Eugenie's podcast does end up challenging the Sussex's narrative, it could shift how the public perceives them and might even influence the royal family's path forward. It's clear that family, loyalty, legacy, and public perception are all in play here. The British monarchy has long valued discretion, unity, and the ability to handle conflicts behind closed doors. But Harry and Meghan's departure changed the game, pushing the family into the public eye in new ways and heightening pressures from both media and the public. Eugenie's recent remarks could be her way of standing out, but they also add tension and raise important questions. Can royal family ties withstand the pull of fame, or is blood no longer thicker than the spotlight? Should family loyalty take priority, even at the cost of personal beliefs? For some, Eugenie's comments echo their own concerns about the Sussexes, while others see them as an unnecessary dig. Family matters are never simple. 
where does loyalty end? And the right to self-expression begin. It's a fine line between fame and responsibility. Harry and Meghan's journey from royal life to celebrity is layered with contradictions. Initially seeking privacy, they've since built an empire centered on visibility. Their interviews, deals, and memoirs have propelled them into global fame. On the other hand, Eugenie, the quieter royal, has remained out of the limelight, focusing instead on social causes. Launching a podcast could be her way of finding her voice, or even a subtle counterpoint to the Sussexes' very public lives. Is Eugenie trying to redefine public service as something meaningful without relying on fame? Her perspective might make Harry and Meghan reflect on their own choices. Royal responsibility or individual freedom who truly decides? This feud raises an essential question, what does it mean to be a royal today? The Sussexes' move has sparked a debate around freedom and responsibility. Royals like Eugenie may feel that Harry and Meghan have abandoned their duties, but others see them as simply choosing their own path. Does the right to determine one's destiny define a modern life, or are Harry and Meghan forever bound by royal obligations? By challenging tradition, Harry and Meghan have highlighted a universal struggle the quest for self-identity versus the expectations of others. Their journey mirrors a tension we all face in some way, intensified by the power of public opinion. How will this feud shape their legacy? With every public appearance, Harry and Meghan walk a tightrope. In a world shaped by social media, public opinion can shift quickly, impacting their brand. One misstep could risk alienating their audience, especially when standards for public figures are high. Eugenie's comments resonate with many because they echo a common sentiment public figures are expected to uphold certain values. Now the Sussexes must balance self-expression with their audience's expectations. Will they fully embrace the celebrity lifestyle or make strides to regain credibility? Only time will tell how they choose to navigate these complexities. The choice is theirs and the royal feud continues to unfold. Royal watchers are buzzing with speculation. Will Meghan respond with a statement of her own? Will Harry address the situation or choose silence? And how will the British public and royal family react to this newest chapter? Eugenie's podcast could be the spark for more palace discussions, or perhaps this drama will eventually fade away. This story is far from over, and with every revelation, the public plays a part in shaping the Sussexes' legacy. This is about more than just family drama. It's a story of duty versus desire, legacy versus individuality, the push and pull between freedom and loyalty. Where do you stand? Do we support the Sussexes' quest for freedom, or do they still owe something to the royal family? This saga is a reminder of how universal the struggle is to balance public image with personal life. Have you ever struggled to balance family expectations with your own goals? Or do you think that public figures should open up and be transparent? Let's keep this discussion going. Share what resonates with you in the comments and join others intrigued by the evolution of the royal family. This isn't just about Harry, Meghan, or Eugenie. It's a story that raises universal questions about family duty and personal freedom. This feud is more than just tabloid drama. It's a glimpse into the monarchy's ongoing transformation and its impact on modern society. Harry and Meghan's journey and Princess Eugenie's response reveal a shift in how we see modern royalty. No longer untouchable or above reproach, they're navigating a legacy in real time, in full view of the public. What do you think this feud tells us about modern royalty? Does it suggest a path for change or a clash with tradition? Share your thoughts and join the conversation. Let's dive deeper into what these stories mean for the royal family and for all of us. The monarchy is now under a magnifying glass, every decision analyzed by a public hungry for transparency and authenticity. But what does this scrutiny mean for future generations of royals? As Harry and Meghan navigate these challenges, they're redefining what it means to be royal in the 21st century. Their choices might inspire future royals, even Princess Eugenie's children, to explore new possibilities for royal life. Eugenie's podcast could represent a shift royals taking control of their narratives in a way that feels true to who they are rather than what the institution expects. With each new move, one question lingers, will Harry and Meghan's approach pave the way for a more open, approachable monarchy? Or will it push the royal family to retreat, reinforcing the mystique that has preserved its tradition for centuries? The media's role as friend or foe has undeniably influenced Harry, Meghan, and now Eugenie. Will they use this influence to bring about change, or will the weight of public opinion force them to conform? What are your thoughts should the monarchy embrace change, or is tradition the key to its longevity? Share your view in the comments. 
For the Sussexes, the press has been a mix of strength and struggle, acting as both their voice and a harsh critic of their decisions. By starting her podcast, Eugenie may seem to be settling in, but she's also stepping into a media world that can help or harm how people see her. Harry and Meghan have built connections with big networks, streaming services, and magazines, giving them a wide audience. However, this also comes with challenges. The media's power can be useful, but it makes them exposed to public judgment. Their lives are subject to interpretation, meaning that even small mistakes can be blown out of proportion as Eugenie claims her space. This digital age shows how tricky it can be to have influence. In a time when stories can be twisted and opinions can change quickly, can anyone, royal or not, really control their image on social media? At the heart of this royal drama lies an important question that goes beyond castles and headlines. How can we be true to ourselves when everyone is watching? For Harry and Meghan, being authentic meant stepping away from what's expected, making their own path, and sharing their truth. For someone like Jeannie, it might mean standing firm in her beliefs, showing her values through her work, and sometimes pushing back against the norm. Although the struggle for authenticity may look different for everyday people, it's just as important. In our jobs, friendships, or even on social media, we often feel torn between who we are and how we want to be seen. Do we find ourselves like the royals trying to express our true selves while meeting others' expectations? If so, what decisions will we make to stay true to ourselves?